right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fast. All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out for They touch gloves, and we are underway. Are uh, you ready? You ready? It's all right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. That knee might have landed there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Takedown defense holds up. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. If your opponent has an in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, single collar tie now. Nice defense there, huge block. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Real nice body kick land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Magomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 
Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Right knee engages in the single follow tie. The right punches there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. What a tricky head kick. Good. Magomedov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tight punch. Boy, tight plump. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch for the split. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him back. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turn that double into a single. Strong and got away from his opponent. Great job. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Blocks the shot. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice body shot there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nice strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. with one of those knees to the body. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Timely defense there, huge block for him. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice. And they separate. Starting to do some really... Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Body kick is blocked. Takedown defense holds up. Battle for position here. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice punch, Lance. That 
That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not excited. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, single collar tie here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Metal. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Good fight here, under two to go. He's having his way with him here. Well, he's got his back now. Nurmako Medov gets back up again. Nice kick. Just misses with the jet. Nurmako Medov's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a strike. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do. Wow! He's out! It's over! It's over! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh, oh. Well, he's smiling ear to ear and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.